okay let's learn json so json stands for javascript object notation since the javascript is the first language to use json okay so that's why it is uh, it got that name so it is generally the human relevant method of storing arrays and objects with values as string okay so it is primarily used for data transfer so commonly it is used when front end part of application requires some data from back end without a page load okay generally uh, it is done by sending the ajax request to the server and server returns the data in json format okay so generally api also serve content using this file format okay so it is uh, not a language it is just a format okay so to transfer data so let me show you how to write uh, json okay so i'm making new file called taste.json okay so uh, in this file so uh, everything will be inside these two curly braces okay so this json format is all about these two curly braces so it will contain key and value pair okay so this is the key okay and this is the value so uh, value uh, whatever name okay so so this is how you define key and value okay so is so it may contains uh, integer okay so the value may contain double uh, float okay decimal point string boolean true or false it may contains array object or null value okay so here is our example so this is the data of the panda name danny so uh, all data are stored in J json format okay so it is example of string uh, integer float okay so array so uh, it might look like a javascript object okay the only difference between these two is let me show this side by side so in json so this is the javascript object and this is the json format so uh, in json double curly braces are important okay so here sing uh, only single quotes will do fine but double quotes are required in case of json okay so uh, here in javascript object we are assigning these to some uh, variable whereas we are not doing here so uh, since javascript is language so we need to assign this to some variable and do something with that uh, so json is not a language it is just a format that's why we are not doing here so let me show you a real life example of json file so one example uh, will be so if you use sublime here uh, inside uh, preferences the setting files everything is in json okay so these are the setting files so data are in json format okay so another example will be so if you use uh, laravel so composer.json file will be the good example of json okay so here key and value pair okay so value is array here so value is in object itself okay so this in uh, so this is just nested okay so object inside object okay so play around with this and uh, see how you find this okay so best way is to best way to learn is to do something okay so yeah so that's all about json